I have so many good memories of grandma, it's hard to pick just one, but probably one of my favorite ones is one of my youngest ones too. And I remember going outside in the middle of winter and getting a cup of snow. And then me and grandma would each have our cup of snow and we would pour some Pepsi over it. And then we would sit under the counter with the heater at our backs and we would drink our homemade Slurpees together and chuckle. I'm super thankful that grandma valued her family and took the time to obviously care for each and every grandchild. Uh, that's been obvious since the first time I've met this family. Some of my favorite memories will always be our walks to Frank's to get a cold Slurpee, uh, sitting in Tim Hortons and getting a cold face wash after a beautiful chocolate donut, and uh, losing at contract drumming every time. No matter how many tricks Grandma pulled, I would always still lose with too many cards in my hand. Uh, and also Grandma's prayer. She was always praying for us as kids and grandkids. Uh, she just loved us so much and it was so evident. Uh, I'm gonna miss grandma. Grandma was everything in my life that a grandma should be. Present, patient, loving, notes, phone calls, little reminders that she loved me, that she was praying for me. She was there through every milestone. I have lots of really fond memories of grandma, lots that make me smile and make me laugh. She used to use her sharp elbows on my ribs in church when Christy and I got too giggly. I remember grandma giving Christy and I marriage advice about when we were cold that we should just warm ourselves up on our husband's thighs. You know how good it feels when someone says your name with love in their voice? I could always hear and feel that when grandma would say my name like, Julia, there was a ring of joy there. 
I'm sure more than once it was a uh, Julia, but not not too many times that I can remember. Her big smile, we all know and love. Her laugh, she loved to laugh. And you could always tell when she was really happy because she would squint her eyes and crinkle her nose and make this schoolgirl face of excitement. I'm so grateful I got to spend all the summers on the farm with grandma. She so lovingly cared for us and she fed us that love with Ralkuchen, Vrenicky, fried noodles, crinkle cookies, her deadly chocolate cake, and those milkshakes. What was the secret to those milkshakes, Grandma? Watching her smother her warm, soft farm hands with Noxima, setting her hair in rollers, driving to town for Slurpees, or driving down the bumpy road to bring Grandpa his lunch, his big old hipster mason jars filled with ice and coke. She was a super chill grandma, even with all us grandkids and great grandkids running amok. I believe in this life that you get what you give, you reap what you sow, and grandma surely did. It was really evident in her later years after grandpa was gone that she was never alone, with her family always visiting her, taking her for donuts, bringing her wontons. She got all that love back and more. And now she's able to pass to that place beyond the stars to be with her soulmate. And she travels there with a very full life and a very full heart. I'll always love you, Grandma. Treasure the morning.